Good evening. New details about the line of storms that came through northeast Wisconsin last night. The National Weather Service now saying an EF1 tornado hit Kakana. Winds reaching up to 95 miles per hour, touching down from 857 to about 901 last night. Took down trees, some outbuildings along Buchanan Road, and that building for seniors and people with disabilities on Bicentennial Court. It's actually one of six tornadoes confirmed in the state from that line of storms late Tuesday night. We also talked to folks in Brown and Door counties who had damage to their homes from fallen trees. More showers entering the region. Today, none severe though. We'll hear from meteorologist David Ernst in just a moment. But first, we had to get corner where we saw significant damage today. Emily Riley joins us now in the newsroom after speaking with those who are now cleaning up. Emily. Cammy and Bill, just driving through the area, you could see how badly Kakana was hit last night. And today, several groups of neighbors were outside clearing the damage. I actually thought for a moment that my house was being lifted up. A tornado touching down in Kakana led to a frightening experience for homeowners Tuesday night. Many of them are now assessing the damage, chopping, raking, and piling branches and fallen leaves. I'll be doing this all week. Several large trees came down in one man's yard. He says he had trouble opening the door just to get outside. Just one round that's this big round is big luck if you can get it off the ground. Some people in the area experienced power outages, fallen trees, and structural damage. The tornado blew off roofs on some homes and buildings. City leaders report that more than 50 residents were displaced due to tree and property damage. Last night they got uh, transported to the Kukon High School uh, for the night, and now we're um, in talks with Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson, who is in talks with Governor Evers uh, for some additional help. Uh, to potentially put them up because uh, it'll probably be several weeks and maybe a month before they can get back into their location. While some people spent the day cleaning up debris from the powerful winds, many extended a helping hand. Oh, it's just been, let's help, let's help. When are you going to do it? What can we do? How do you guys need water? Do you need something to eat? As cleanup continues, the city of Kakana is reminding you when looking for a repair contractor, use referrals from trusted sources like friends, neighbors, and insurance agents, and avoid door-to-door -door storm, storm chaser crews. You can find more information on the city's website. Cami.